Hey everyone, I'm going to do a short video here on annotated bibliography. Uh, let's go here. So this is in the Cornell Library. This is the example. This is, you know, tells you what it is, but let's just scroll down here to what it actually looks like, okay? So this is what it should look like. You've got the source, you know, your citation that you found, an article, um, and then you do a, a summary of it, basically. Um, so, and you're talking about the article. Uh, you're not writing a story about the topic. Uh, um, so, anyway, uh, to, 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 so let's go here. Um, okay, so here's an example. So let's say, okay, I found my source. Well, first off, let me do something else. Just a, uh, whoops. Oh, uh, uh, cancel. And I'm going to put these all in single line for, I'm just, now this is how um, I do, I, I usually do stuff single space and then after I'm done I double space it. So I got, okay, so I got, I found a source here. I found this, these guys right here, right? And um, normally if you're doing your um, reference page, you would take your citation, you would go up here to special, you click hanging, all right, and then you go down here and click OK, and that gives it that indent, you know, for references. So like on the reference page, you know, that you know this is what you would have here, like this. So now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna reverse what I just did. Okay, but for the bibliography, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you can get your source, you're going to write your little summary. Here, I'm going to separate that. Uh, and then what you do is just highlight the whole thing, hit the paragraph tab, go to the special, you're going to hanging, and click OK. And you may have to, depending sometimes, you may have to tab that in, hit the tab key, and that lines it up. All right, so that's how it's supposed to look. And then you would do the same thing down here with this one. Hit hanging, hit OK. And you probably have to do the tab key again to get that, line that up in there. And so you do that for, um, you know, I'm not going to do this one, but anyway, just, you know, then hit your delete key so you line up everything and then you can double space it. You can go ahead and highlight the whole page or whatever and then go down here and do your double space. And then you want to click here because you don't want extra spaces in between paragraphs. On some of your papers sometimes I notice that there's extra space so when you're formatting go in there and do that. Do not add extra space between paragraphs. Click and then it's all all nice and pretty so and that's how it's supposed to look and again it's like a a summer you know a paragraph on the article no adding um, nothing extra just on that article so I hope that clears this up um, and with that I will just uh, quit it um,